up guys, it's Kayla and Jim and welcome back to another Meteorology Monday. So today, as you might have noticed from the title above, we are revisiting a topic um, that was originally posted two-ish years ago. Why you may ask? Because I don't like that video and it's the most viewed video on the channel. <laughs> yeah, it was one of the first videos and I you like, kind of- I'm just, terrible! You're just throwing it out there to go, well, let me see, you know, kind of feeling things out and, yeah. and, and how to record it and how to upload. And, and so you picked a topic and you threw it out there and it's been one of our more was, viewed videos. It was literally just me messing around with a topic and a camera and figuring out iMovie. <laughs> Next thing you know, it's got 25,000 views. Long story short, we are here to talk about it again expand on it a little bit, maybe make some things a little bit clearer. And this time we have dad as well in the video. So. I don't know, what, what do you do? That, what, how do you, I did that. I don't know what that was. I don't know either. But we're just gonna jump right into the video. But before we get started. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below so you never miss another Meteorology Monday. So, UTC time. What does it stand for? What else is it called? take it away. That's right. So UTC time is universal time coordinated or more known as coordinated universal time. So we have UTC mm -hmm. also known as Z time okay. but we'll get into that in just a moment. But what was the origin? Why, why did all of a sudden where did this come up from? So originally it was called Greenwich Mean Time or GMT. So back in the 1850s, the Royal Observatory in Great Britain decided that they needed a zero time or a prime meridian and they picked that to be Greenwich, England because that's where the Royal Observatory was located. And over the next several decades, the rest of the world started referring to Greenwich, England as that zero time point. And that just became what we call the prime meridian. That's right. So we have coordinated universal time and then there's Z time. What is the difference? So Z time or Zulu time is the military's way of saying the 24 hour clock. Because in military terms, Z is the call sign is Zulu. And the civilian term is UTC time. Now, one of the things that we're gonna take a look at is editing Kayla's gonna pop up a map for us <clears throat> to see what these time zones look like. Yes. And you will see that they are not perfectly straight lines according to longitude. They kind of have kinks and bows and cutouts and stuff Some like that. Some countries just decided that they were all gonna be in one time zone and forget where in the world they actually were. <laughs> <laughs> and the one that was really interesting was, I think it was Ireland. If you look at <laughs> Ireland, you know, they look squarely in the middle of, of a time zone that's, that's behind the zero GMT or zero yeah. UTC time. And they just decided, Nope. nope, ain't gonna have it, <laughs> at least here in, in 2021. Nope, we are going to be in the same time zone yeah. as England, so interesting. I don't know the history, but uh, it's interesting as you look at the map, you see all these little jogs and stuff like that of, of the time zones. Um, but yeah, that's because each sovereign nation has uh, view, reviewed what was best for their nation and yep. has adjusted accordingly. And now we have the time zones the, the way that they are. Yeah, so starting with that zero line going through Greenwich, England, anything before that or west of that, like the United States, for instance, is minus time. So currently we are in Eastern Standard Time, which means that we are UTC minus five. So we are five hours behind that zero line going through Greenwich, England. Now, if you're in front of it, you could be plus four, you could be plus seven, uh, like the Netherlands is plus one, so they're one hour ahead. So the range is basically up to 12 hours behind and up to 12 hours in front of because yep. there's a 20, 24 hours in a day, so you can't be, you know, <laughs> more than that or else you're 14 hours behind. Well, why don't you just say plus two because <laughs> you just exactly. crossed the, the date line. But basically, that, that's it. And yeah. let's just ask the question here. So we have this coordinated time. What is the purpose of it being coordinated around the world? What, is, what does it benefit countries? Well, certain things that immediately pop to mind would be aviation. 
you have these planes flying all across the world, crossing all of these different time zones, it would probably make sense that they have a coordinated universal time so that they can be like, all right, we're taking off at, you know, 4 UTC, it takes four hours to get to our destination, we're gonna land at 8 UTC, and then the country that they're landing in can just translate that into what the local time actually is. Another good example would be when it comes to uh, the weather. You yeah. Know, so when you have instruments that are recording weather parameters, satellites, radars, issuing forecasts, you want to issue it using a universal time versus Correct. the standard time. Now it gets converted when it goes to the public forecast, it gets yeah. converted, but the meteorologist will actually see it in Z time or GMT or universal time coordinated. It's just easier so that when the models come out, especially when there's daylight savings time or not daylight savings time, there's a consistency. The model comes out by, you know, 3Z, yep. 2Z, whatever, and you, and you have consistencies there and also when to issue your forecasts. It establishes kind of a firm foundation. Yeah, consistency across yeah, the board. Consistency for, for all the countries across the world. Yeah, so all the models are in UTC time. And this is also helpful for like places that are specialized. So like SPC is in Norman, Oklahoma, and you have the National Hurricane Center, which is in Miami, Florida. But sometimes these places are issuing watches and warnings and stuff for outside of their time zone. So having it in UTC really helps. Now the great thing about whether you have daylight savings time or not is that the universal coordinated time is the same, sure. no matter what, yep. which is very helpful. So again, here we are in the Eastern United States. You know, if we expect the zero Z run of a model to come out around 3Z, it'll come out at 3Z, whether that yep. is 11 p.m. or 10 p.m. that night, we know, okay, around 3Z. And it's, it was very interesting working for the Weather Service, trying to get your mind around that because growing up on the East Coast and then having my first National Weather Service assignment out on the West Coast, it was a three hour difference. You gotta change your mind <laughs> as right. to what your UTC time is. So I'm like, okay, well, let's see, we, back in the day when we used to launch balloons, you know, manually and, and have the uh, upper air instruments attached to it for the zero Z time frame would be 23 Z while 23 Z on the East Coast is you know not the same time as 23 Z on the West Coast and right. so it would be uh, quite different you know especially in the morning time frame it's like I'm here it is the middle of the night and it's supposed to be 12 Z and I'd still <laughs> you know, see the moon and <laughs> on the East Coast the Sun would be up already so it was it was quite an interesting change going from yeah. living in two different time zones but you had you know the coordinated uh, universal coordinated time being you know the same okay zero Z this is this is you know what yeah. we're doing things so yeah quite interesting what else uses UTC time what else kind of you know traverses time zones that could uh, could potentially need a coordinated time that's kind of way up in the atmosphere satellites satellites and the International Space Station well, there you go so now that you've understood a little bit more about universal coordinated time we want to go ahead and give you guys just a little quiz to see how well you do.
So there you have a little quiz. How did you guys do? Did you get them all right? Did you get them all wrong? <laughs> Let us know in the comments down below. And also in the description, we will link all of our NWS resources that we use while researching this topic. And as always, again, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you never miss another Meteorology Monday. That's right. And don't forget to check us out on our other social media platforms, mm -hmm. Instagram and Facebook popping up right here. As well as our website, which is linked in the description. Until next time, I'm Kayla. And I'm Jim. Thanks for watching. And may your universal time be coordinated. Or more known as coordinated universal time. Say that again. Coordinated. Okay. It doesn't have three ends. Okay.